Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review of the HTC One. All right, now this one I'm gonna try to make a little bit shorter because I know sometimes my videos be mad long, but the reason my videos be so long is you gotta remember that I'm not a company that gets phones for free and I'm under a contract or something, so I'm just putting out reviews just to put them out. No, all of these phones you see me reviewing are phones that I bought with my own money out of my pocket. These are phones that I use every day for business and personal. And um, when you go to buy them, you're gonna have to spend your money. So that's why when I do the reviews, I try to get as deep as I can into them and cover all the real world topics and um, try to give y'all the most important stuff about the phone. That's why I don't get really heavy into specs and all of that, because that stuff you could just go to the website and Google for yourself. All right, so without beating around the bush, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving this phone a solid nine. All right, solid nine. Now, I've been using it for over a week straight as my main phone, and trust me, this phone is a definite, definite go. All right, definite go. I'm giving it a nine. Now, look, y'all know whenever I do a real review, I like to talk about everything I don't like about the phone first, and then I like to talk about everything I do like about the phone. So let's get into everything I don't like first. Now, first thing I don't like about this phone is that there's no micro SD card. All right, so no expandable memory. Now, I got a 32 gig, which is plenty. You know, I got Dropbox and, you know, I got Google Plus for my photos and all that. So 32 gigs is plenty. But at the same time, I got a lot of movies and I like I got a lot of pictures and, you know, books and stuff on, on different SD cards. It would have been nice if I could just slap them in here without having to keep transferring stuff, you know, through my computer. Whatever, it would have been nice. But no micro SD card, so no expandable memory. So you're going to be stuck with the 32 gigs. Or if you get the limited edition 64 gigs, then you're going to have 64. But everybody from Sprint, we got the 32 gig one. So 32, that's what it is. Next, no removable battery. Now, is that a big deal for me? Not really because, you know, I walk around with the power bag and I got a my charge and I got the power bank. You know, I got nowadays it's real easy to have, you know, a battery source with you. It's not like back in the days where you had to walk around with a charger looking to, you know, looking for a wall outlet. No, right now there's so many portable battery packs and they're so cheap that battery is not that big of a deal. But at the same time, that is something I don't like that there's no removable battery because I would have liked to have, you know, been able to get a big extender battery and just put it on there for, you know, when I'm out of town or whenever, you know what I'm saying? It would have been nice to have, but no removable battery. Next, no multitasking. Now, that's, now when I say no multitasking, I don't mean the regular standard you know, just um, multitasking like this. I mean, no like split screen dual multitasking like you see on the Samsung Galaxy line. No multitasking, no swipe gestures, none of that stuff. Now, keep in mind, is that a big deal? No, because if you never had a Galaxy phone, then, you know, you don't really know what you're missing. But coming from somebody like me who has a Galaxy Note 2, had the Galaxy S3, those are features that you get used to. And, you know, to, you know, to be honest with you, the technology is available, so why not have it? You know what I'm saying? So no multitasking, no swipe gestures and all of that. Is that a big deal? No. That's why I didn't really even take off a point for that. That's just something I'm spoiled to from, you know, rocking Samsung phones as my main lines. What else? Uh, another thing, now this is a small thing that I, that I don't really like, is when you got your notification, when you go on your notification bar, if you want to get to your toggles, you got to go to settings. Now, everybody knows, like, when you have a Samsung phone, when you scroll down, you know, at your notification bar, you got all your toggles, like Bluetooth, Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi, GPS, sync, all that stuff right at the top. So with this one, when you want to get to those, you have to actually swipe down, then you got to go to settings. All right, so now, is that a big deal? No, it's just one extra button press, but it's something that would have been nice to have right from the menu. So this way, when you know, when you go into movies and you want to put your phone on silent, one button, put it on silent instead of having to, you know you know search for toggles and you know move you know switches up and down whatever is it a big deal no not not a big deal at all and the last thing I, that about the phone that i don't really like so much is the size it's a little bit small now i know what y'all saying 4.7 that's that's huge compared to you know phones back in the days with the when the four you know with the original evo and 4.3 was considered giant so 4.7 is is big but compared to using you know the five and a half inch galaxy note 2 and you know, all of the new phones coming out now, even the Galaxy S4 with the 5-inch screen. This one is a little bit smaller, and after using the Note 2, it took a minute for me to get used to, you know, going back down. But as you can see, the phone takes advantage of the full screen. 
So it doesn't feel like you're losing that much screen surface as opposed to something like on a uh, Galaxy Note 2. Let's take a look at the Galaxy Note 2 right next to it. As you can see, the phone is, the screen is smaller, but it's not that small like, you know, where it feels like a flip phone from back in the days. So that's, you know, with all of those things I just mentioned, I only took off one point. Because like I said, no SD card, not a big deal. No removable battery, not a big deal. No multitasking and all that. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention that I don't like that much is the video camera. Now, shout out to everybody who's seen my camera test videos. All of the, all of the settings are right. It's on, it's on HD. All of the settings are right. I'm not a noob. Trust me, everything is, everything is recording right. It's just that the HTC camera doesn't do that good in the daytime. The video camera doesn't look as great as some of the other phones out right now in the daytime, even though it really looks nice at nighttime. And one thing you can't deny about the video camera on the HTC One is the sound. The sound on the video camera is definitely, definitely sick. All right, so that's everything about the phone that I don't like. Now let's get into everything about the phone that I do like, which is a lot of stuff. First off, the build. This is by far, without a doubt, the, the best built Android phone that I ever used yet. The only phone that could even come close to this in build quality is the iPhone 5. Other than that, there's nothing else on the market right now that has a better build than this. This build is just so sick. It, it, it makes you not even want to put a case on it. You know, now I got the double twist case. Y'all seen it already. But um, I got to be honest with y'all. I took the screen protector off and I took the case off because this is one of those phones that you just want to enjoy the feeling of the phone. Especially if you buy it off contract and you spend $600 for it. This is the Android phone that you've been waiting for. Good specs with a good build together. Most of the time you got to have a trade off. This is one time where you're actually getting top of the line specs and top of the line build quality. And when I say top of the line, this is the top of the line built quality, best built Android phone I ever used yet. And y'all know I used all of them. Next, the sound. Now, I can't stress how important, you know, the sound on the phone is. If you got a phone and the sound is not great on it, you know, when the phone is in your pocket, you're going to, if you don't have your phone on vibrate, if you're trying to save battery and all that, you're not going to hear it. Or when you're watching YouTube videos, you don't want to have to have the phone close to your head so you can hear the sound, hear what people saying. No. HTC with the Beats audio, as you can see right there, and HTC's boom sound, the speakers on this phone are sick. Not to mention, the way they set it up with the speakers on the front of the phone, the dual speakers on the front of the phone, I can't stress how hot that is. Because a lot of times especially with the Samsung, with the Galaxy line, you have the speaker in the back. So now when you're holding the phone in your hand, you're actually covering up the speaker. So a lot of times you're playing music or you're watching a video or something, you got to hold it like this because you don't want to, you know, block that speaker. So now with this phone, you could just actually hold the phone in your hand and when you're playing videos and all that, it sounds great. As a matter of fact, let me see if I got any music on here. I'll drop a little sample song on here and, and see if I got anything. Let's see. Now, let me see. Rocking with some um, rocking. Now I've been rocking some old school shit lately. Let me turn this up a little bit. All right. Now this is not the song playing. Here we go. Now I don't know if the if the if you can hear the sound quality through the video, but trust me. The dual speakers on the front, let me turn that off. The dual speakers on the front, it makes such a big difference. And when you get phone calls and everything, you know, your, your ringtones, all the ringtones play out of the front speakers. So your phone is mad loud. This phone is extra loud. When I get notifications, I always hear them. And like I said, when I'm playing music, the music sounds beautiful coming out of the speakers. And also with the Beats Audio, now if you got a nice quality set of headphones and you're playing music through the phone, it sounds beautiful. It's a lot of bass, a lot of treble. I mean, it, the only other only other phone I heard so far that sounds just as good as this is the iPhone 5 when you're playing music through your speakerphone. I mean, uh, through your headphones. So, like I said, the sound on this, major, major go. That's probably my favorite thing about this phone I like is the dual speakers on the front and the loud volume. Okay, so boom sound and beats audio, major, major win. Next, the display. Now, the display on this phone 
is simply, simply beautiful. Now, it's not like the, you know, the Super AMOLED with the darks, you know, with the blacks are extra, extra black. No, this phone actually has the real colors. Like, now, when I do the Galaxy S4 versus the HTC One, you'll see what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, let me just pull up my, uh, my Galaxy Note real quick so you can see. Look at Facebook. Now, I don't know if you can see them both together. You see how the Facebook on this one kind of looks washed out? You know, you can tell us the Facebook blue and all of that. Look at the Facebook on this one. It's the real Facebook blue color. All right, now, the display on this is just sick. When you're looking at pictures, you're getting the real colors of the picture. It looks extra sharp, extra crystal clear. The display on this is a major win. This is actually, to me, HTC's best display. Best display yet. Definitely, definitely sick. What else? Next, the UI. Now, when I say the UI, of course, it's running Android 4.2.1. I don't mean, um, you know, that's that's pretty much standard, even though the S4 is running 4.2.2, whatever. But y'all know we're going to root this and we're going to be up to date and all that. No. What I mean by the UI is the smoothness, the lag factor. This phone actually has no lag. Now, I know y'all heard me say that before. And then, you know, a couple of months after, once you put all your apps and all your pictures and all that, you start getting a little bit of lag here and there. No. HTC has done it right this time. You know, I think the only thing the Evo 4G LTE was missing was that 2 gigs of RAM. That's the only thing that it was missing. Because now that this phone has 2 gigs of RAM, no lag at all. None. Super smooth. When you open up apps, they just pop right open. I mean, now, keep in mind, I got the phone on airplane mode because, you know, I'm still in the office, so I don't want to get a whole bunch of notifications and, you know, phone calls while I'm in the middle of doing this video. But, um... Whenever you open an app, it pops right open. Whenever you hit something, it takes you right to what, it, what you need to go to. No lag, no delay. And let me show you one thing. Now, this is one of my other favorite parts about this phone is when you powered, when you, when you got the phone in your pocket on standby mode and you turn it on. Look how fast the phone turns on and opens. And it does that every single time. Now, you could swipe or you could just touch the screen. Every single time pops right open. Look at this. Now, I can't stress how important that is for, like, say when you're in your car and somebody sends you a text message, you know it's not good to be texting and driving and all that. I, I don't support that. But um, <laughs> what happens when you get to the red light and you want to just, you know, hit a quick reply text? Like, I don't know what y'all do, but for me, with my kind of business that I, that I operate in, every time I get an email or a text message, it could be something that's involving some cash. So um, I, I can't be missing any messages. So now I don't text and drive, but when I get to a red light, I want to respond real quick. I hate when you turn on the phone and it has that pause before the home screen pops up. You know what I'm talking about. A lot of Samsung phones do that, especially if you're rocking um, third party launches and all that. When you, when you have the, when you're at the home screen and you open it up, it takes that second for it to get to your home screen. This phone, no lag, every time opens right up. Silky, silky smooth. I haven't had it lag yet. I haven't had to, you know, restart the phone yet. And I've been using it heavy. I've been trying to make it lag, actually. I've been, I got all of my pictures on here, all of my music, all of my emails, all of my apps. I got all of my push notifications. Everything is running at maximum capacity, and the phone is still super smooth. Look at that pinch. Now, when I show y'all that on the Galaxy, you already know how. If you're home and you got your Galaxy, go like that with your Galaxy and watch what happens. Silky, silky smooth UI. Next. Now, another thing about this phone that's sick is uh, HTC Zoe. Now, if you don't know what Zoe is, check out the video I did. What Zoe is is when you're outside in the street or, you know, you're at a, at a club, a bar, a restaurant, you're at school, you're in your house, anywhere you're at and you start taking a whole bunch of pictures and videos and all that, it's going to save them into a file under under an event and you hit HTC Zoe and it turns it into a little movie. Now let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. Let me pull up my gallery. Alright, so I'm going to go to my photos now and um, let's see. Let's go to events. Okay, now I'm going to pull up um, this car show that I was at the other day. Let's see if I got it in here somewhere. Okay, now look. Now, I was at a car show the other day, so I took a whole bunch of pictures. But um, this is what it's going to look like. when you, Now, these are all the pictures I took at the car show. Now, if I want to make an HTC Zoe, all I do is press play. Now, watch this. I didn't, no editing or nothing from me.
these are just pictures and videos that I, you know, I took, but the computer automatically put them together, put the sound effects, put the music behind it and all that, and made a nice little video. Now, if I want to change the music, I can just put on different music. These are just pictures I took and put them together nicely. Makes it into a whole little mini movie. I did the same thing when I went to Coney Island the other day, took a whole bunch of pictures of my daughter and you know, we had a good time and I just um, made a little movie out of it. See, now shot with HCC Zoe. Now with that, I could just easily save it. Or I could just share it. Now, yeah, now catch that rock with me on Facebook. Y'all seen that? I've been putting a couple of Zoe's up, but um, literally make a nice little mini movie out of all the clips, literally in one button, and it takes less than a minute, less than thirty seconds. You got a little mini movie. That's about a minute and change long. To me, now that that feature is sick. Now there's other apps that you could get. I, when I when I do the hot Android apps, I'll show you an app that you could get on your phone that's kind of similar. It's, it's not as hot as Zoe, but it's pretty much similar. But Zoe is sick, especially now with Zoe. It's gonna kind of make you wanna take pictures and video together when you go out. So now when you go out, you know when you go on a date with your girl or something, you take a little video of y'all in the restaurant, take a little video of y'all walking around, take a bunch of pictures, and at the end of the night. Make a nice little Zoe and put it up on your Facebook wall and you got a little date night movie. So to me, Zoe is definitely, definitely sick. Next, Blink Feed. Now, I like Blink Feed. A lot of people saying they don't really like Blink Feed, but to me, I like Blink Feed because it has all of your Twitter, Facebook. You can set it to have all your news, sports. Like me, I got Twitter, Facebook. I got all my news, sports. I got TV shows. You know, I got everything on here. So Blink Feed to me is hot. I like it better than uh, Flipboard, whatever, you know, some people don't like it, I don't know, you got to give it a shot though, you know, just don't, don't knock it down until you try it, trust me, Blink Feed is nice, and not to mention, you know, when you, when you, you know, when you activate your phone, it's automatically going to be on Blink Feed, but you could disable that, or you could just swipe over, so I just leave it on because a lot of times I find myself just reading different stories, to me it works a lot smoother than Flipboard, and it has, um, more uh, features than Flipboard. All right, so Blink Feed is a definite go. Next, the camera. Now let me show you the camera on this real quick. Let's take let's let's take a quick couple of shots real quick. Now I won't get into the features too much because, like I said, I don't want to draw this video out too much. But all of the standard features, you know, burst shot, panorama, all that stuff, all of the features you could, all the camera features you want are on there. The camera on HTC is sick. Look at that. Look at that detail. You can see the engraving on the knuckle case you can take pictures and video at the same time all of the hot features that you would expect on a camera you're gonna have them on this camera not to mention the front facing camera is crystal clear like I said the only thing now is the video camera watch the camera test for yourself I really wasn't feeling the video camera in the daytime like it was a little bit choppy at times and the autofocus wasn't the best sometimes I actually was touching the screen at, like, if you look at the beginning of that video I actually touched the screen to try to get into focus and you know it was kind of choppy here and there but um whatever so video camera not the best but the regular camera for still pictures amazing let me see if I got any pictures I took recently we could just look at a couple of pictures let me see if I got something with a bunch of colors in it alright like take this one for instance I was driving uh, shout out to my man JC pulled out the Ferrari look at the detail in the picture crystal clear alright so the camera on this phone is a definite definite win now like I said they not they not going with megapixels they going with the ultra pixels and all that if you don't know what that means who cares the bottom line is the picture looks great look at that detail alright so the camera on this is a definite win next the IR blast on the top that coincides with the TV app. All right, so now when you're rocking with the TV app, I won't. It's not going to be able to connect right now since I got it on airplane mode and I'm and plus there's no TV over here. But um, basic rundown of the TV app is is you can control your TV from your phone. So now not only not only just as a remote control, but once you program your cable station and you know let you know you let the phone know which cable provider you have and all of that. It's going to go into your Blink feed. Let me see if I have any TV upcoming TV shows on here. 
well, whatever. It's going to go into your Blink feed. It's going to show you all of, the, all of the programs that's coming on, little brief descriptions, pictures of the shows that's coming on. And while you're breezing through that, if you see it on your Blink feed and you're in the house, you click on it with your IR blaster, well, it's going to connect right to your TV. And if, you, you know, you're just browsing, you see, say you see a basketball game is on, you click on the basketball game, and it'll, it'll activate right on your TV. So the TV app is a definite go, and the IR blaster is a definite, definite go. I find myself using this a lot, actually, because, you know, a lot of times in the middle of the night, you can't find the remote. I, I, in the middle of the night, when I check my phone for messages and all that, I just scroll over the TV, turn the TV off and on, you know, check for different shows. You can set the DVR and all that. The TV app is a definite, definite go. What else? Uh, the, a lot of people have been hitting me up asking me how's the radios on it. Now, everybody knows HCC has quality radios, but the radio on this one is pretty good. I haven't been having any drop calls. I've been using the speakerphone a lot. The speakerphone is crystal clear. Like I said, great radios. And normally, I'm where I'm at underground, I get no reception, but I've been getting good reception with it. Shout out to Sprint. I've been getting 4G in Queens and Brooklyn all day now, so 4G is popping off in New York pretty good, at least in Brooklyn and Queens. I don't know about in your area. I, mean, I don't know about Manhattan and all that, but in Brooklyn and Queens, we're rocking 4G LTE real nice. All right, what else? Uh, accessories. Now, I haven't got any real accessories. This I'm still rocking this case right here. Let me put it back on. Now, this case, one thing I can say about this case, this case does look sick, but... um. This case gets super dirty. As you can see, this case gets dirty really fast, but it does look sick. Now, I ordered a whole bunch of other cases. We got the speed gen cases coming. We got the uh, case fanatic joint coming. You know, we got the, the hottest aluminum one. Real quick, on a side note, the aluminum one is going to look like this, the one I have for the S3. Now, if anybody wants to buy this one, I'm selling this one. Uh, hit me up if you want to know the price. I'll, I'll probably let it go for about 40 bucks. Brand new, because I got rid of my S3. I only used it about maybe one or two days. So I'd rather, before I just, um, you know, just give it away to somebody, I'd rather sell it to somebody who's going to appreciate it. So like I said, hit me up on the side note for this. $40 It's yours. <laughs> as far as accessories for this HTC, though, like I said, we got the speed gen cases coming. We got the case fanatic joints coming. We got a whole bunch of Amazon cases. I mean, we're going to get heavy. That's another thing I like about this HCC. If you had the um, HCC 1X or the Evo 4G LTE, you realize that there wasn't too many accessories for it. Like a lot of companies, they made one or two cases for it, and that was it. You know, even with like CDO.com, they didn't have too many cases. You know what I'm saying? So one thing about the HCC 1, I see a lot of, uh, a lot of these companies making some more cases for it. So at least you got, you know, a little bit of variety now. Hopefully, um, you'll be able to get all of that cool cases that you get for your Galaxy phones. Hopefully, they'll come out for the for the HTC One. Who knows? I hope HTC markets this phone a little bit better because, um, trust me, on a scale of 1 to 10, this phone is a 9. This is actually my favorite phone out right now, other than the Galaxy Note 2. Now, the Galaxy Note 2, I don't really consider a phone. That's kind of like a mini tablet because of the S Pen and all of that. But a regular, as far as a regular phone goes... The HTC One right now is probably my favorite. But, we got the Galaxy S4 right here. We get ready to unbox this in the next video, so that could all change. What else about this phone? The last thing, and probably the most important thing about this phone, the floss factor. Now, if you don't know what the floss factor is, the floss factor means when you go out to that club and you're at that restaurant or the bar or your school or whatever, and somebody pulls out their iPhone, or somebody pulls out the Galaxy Note 2 and you pull out your HTC One, are they shutting you down? Or are you still on top of the food chain? Well, when it comes to Floss Factor, this phone is a solid 10. Nobody's shutting you down with this right now. Nobody. And a lot of people are gonna say, well, I think the Galaxy 4, you know, has the Galaxy S4 has more features, so you know that's probably the top of the you know top of the food chain and all that. But when it comes to Floss Factor, you gotta remember just because something is the best or has the most features doesn't mean it's the, you know, is, is getting the most love because look at it like this, you know, right now you could say a Ferrari is probably like one of the, you know, the, the hottest cars you could get. But imagine if you went somewhere and everybody had a Ferrari, then that Ferrari all of a sudden is not that hot anymore. Then somebody pulls up an Audi R8. Now all of a sudden that R8 is just looking even hotter because everybody don't got it. And that's the same feeling you're going to get when you're rocking this HTC one, everybody don't have it. And especially if you're rocking it without the case, 
and you're rocking that nice premium build to it, trust me, the, the, the floss factor on this is off the chain. This is a definite 10. So this is, you know, this is my top of the line floss factor foam right now. Like I said, most of the time I'm not even rocking the case on it. I'm rocking it raw dog because I want to enjoy that feel. And I want people to see that big Beats audio logo on the back. So that way you know that this is the HTC One. This is not the One X. It's not none of those other ones. This is the this is the main dog, the top of the line heavy hitter. All right. Now I'm getting ready to unbox the S4. We'll do a whole bunch of comparison videos and all of that. Like I said, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this a solid 9. I only took off one point, but um, you can't go wrong with this phone. So if it's between this or the S4, you're going to have a hard choice. But like me personally, if I only had to pick one, I probably would get the HTC only because I already had the Galaxy S3, had the Galaxy S2. You know, and every now and then you want to get a break from TouchWiz and the same UI. You want to try something different. If you, if you reach that point and you're just ready to try something different when it comes to a phone, the HTC One is the one that you want to get. Trust me. This one is a definite go. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I be at full time, 100%. We having mad fun. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up. If y'all got any pictures y'all want me to see, at me, Flossy underscore Carter. You know what I'm saying? Now check out your pictures. You know what I mean? It's your boy Floss. I'll catch up with y'all on the next trip. Matter of fact, that next trip is real quick because we're getting ready to unbox this S4. Alright? I'm out. Deuces.